morning, everyone. I'm dressed in my Sunday best. Even though it's not Sunday, we're out here working. We're unloading that load I picked up in Winnipeg yesterday. We're here on the west side of Regina, Saskatchewan, up in Western Canada on the prairies. And from here, I gotta go north to Meadow Lake. It's a bit of a hike, not too bad, not too bad, but I'm picking up a load of lumber there in Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan. That's taking me down to, I believe, Lakewood, Minnesota which I think is a suburb of Minneapolis. Lakeville, Minnesota. Let's figure this out together right now. Lakeville, where are you? Lakeville, Lakeville, Minnesota. One second, Google's thinking. There you are. Yes, it is, oh, I don't know if it's a suburb, but it's just south of Minneapolis on I-35. I guess you could call that a suburb. Minneapolis is so big, it just, keeps going and going and going and then suddenly there's St. Paul and I go hey St. Paul and then St. Paul keeps going and going and going there's two cities in one if you ever if you ever been through there if you haven't been through there or if you're from a total different country or part of the world it's like two massive cities collided and there's two separate downtowns there's the downtown of Minneapolis which is the main one the big one and then there's a pretty big downtown a little bit smaller though of St. Paul like just down the river from each other and it's just like one big city it's crazy they call it the Twin Cities, even though they're nothing, they, they're, down, they're not twins at all. They look totally different. Downtown St. Paul is definitely different than downtown Minneapolis. Wouldn't that be wild though if they were exactly the same? Like real twins, like, like same city streets, same blocks, same buildings, same everything. That would be crazy. But let's see, how far is Lakeville from Meadow Lake? Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan. One second, Google's thinking. Okay, we're gonna be crossing into North Dakota from Saskatchewan at North Portal, Saskatchewan into Portal, North Dakota. It's 1, 000, about 1,800 kilometers. So about 18 hours of driving. 1,800 kilometers is, uh, I'm gonna say 1,200 miles? Let's see. 1,800 divided by 1.61, 1,118 miles. I was overshooting a little bit. That's the trip from there, but first we have to get up to Meadow, Meadow Lake, right? So from where I am right now, my location to Meadow Lake is 555 kilometers, about 320 miles. That one I know, right? Right? 555 kilometers divided by 1.61, 345 miles. That was close. That was close. So first we got to go 345 miles north, grab the load, and then we go 1,100 or almost 1,200 miles back south of Minneapolis, unload there, we'll pick up something else, and we'll take it back home. Mother's Day is coming. And it is my wife's very first Mother's Day as a mother. Well, let's be honest, we've been, she's been a dog mom for, for a long time. We've had dogs, our fur babies, but now we have a skin puppy. A skin puppy, and it's different. So it's her first Mother's Day, and I, I want to make it special. I have these plans in my head, and uh, I'm hoping that I can uh, pull it off. I was watching Trucking with Schmidt yesterday, and it was his wife's birthday. And man, he goes above and beyond. He, he goes all over, but makes the day so special for her, even though she hates birthdays. She's not a big fan of birthdays. And he still goes above and beyond and makes the whole day super special for her. Gets a custom cake made, you know, drives hours and hours just to meet her, to bring her flowers. Like, his channel is called Trucking with Schmidt, and his name is Kurt. He drives a W9 as well, and what a great guy, you know? And hes I think he said he's been married over, uh, well, well over 20 years. 25 years? 24? And you, and you can tell why. Because he makes life so special for his family around him, right? I love watching his channel. He makes me feel good. So uh, he made his wife's birthday so special, and I was just thinking to myself, you know what? I've got to make my wife's Mother's Day special, too. I was thinking that before already, but after seeing that video, he really inspired me to sort of... You know, take it a notch further yet. I'll see what I can come up with. I already have the plans, okay? The plans are already there. I just have to see if I, I, I gotta put them together. It's gonna be pretty low key. She doesn't wanna do anything big, but you know, that could be code also for that she wants to do something big. Women are hard to understand like that sometimes. Sometimes they'll be like, no, I don't wanna do anything. I just want a you know, nice low key day, but really they're thinking in their head, like, I hope you plan something big. As a husband, you, you have to learn to read the signs. And I don't think we ever truly learn completely. 
but we, we do our best, right? And uh, shout out to Kurt for uh, doing an awesome job. That that video made me smile when he when he did all that for his wife. That was great. Kurt, if you're watching, you're the man. So I'm at this massive job site, right? Huge place, building all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff, and I'm part of it. I'm delivering all this stuff. So he's just grabbing some on the other side there. I'm gonna stay back. I'm gonna jump back in my cab. I just wanted to show you what we were up to here. I'm gonna get all this stuff off my trailer. And we're gonna go put some wood on it. Formerly Husky. You know that because, well, if you could see it, there's a big Canada flag right behind that fuel island. That's how you can identify these ones. Essobot Husky. It's sort of the same idea as the pilot acquisition of Flying J. There are two massive truck stop giants in Canada, and Esso just came out on top and bought Husky out. You can still see on the above the door over there. I'm not sure if you can. Right there. There's still the husky symbol. I'll wind up there too. I well, probably can't see it from here. But. Same idea, same thing as the pilot flying J merger in the US. It's just two two big shots becoming one even bigger shot. You know? More power in the hands of fewer. Right? That's the way it goes. People just keep buying this person, and that person buys this person. Now this person has all of this, and then they go and buy all of that. And now they have all of this and all of that. And then they go buy everything else. And then they go swimming in their swimming pool filled with money. Like Scrooge McDuck. Am I thinking of the right cartoon character? Scrooge McDuck. You know what I'm talking about, right? Was that his name? But yeah, I'm in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan right now. Sort of halfway up to where we were going. Not quite. We've got another three hours to go from this spot where I'm sitting right here. It's actually exactly 300 kilometers to go to where I'm going to load up. I was just talking to my father-in-law, and he actually just left Meadow Lake. He loaded up a load of lumber there, too. That load's going down to Indiana, but I think uh, I don't think he's following or taking the trailer all the way down. I think they may be switching drivers or something. 
But uh, yeah, he's on his way down from there right now, so sometime or other we're going to pass each other here. Talk to my dad, too. He passed me when I was in Balgoni this morning. He's headed out west to Calgary. I'm not too sure. I think he told me. Yeah, from Calgary, he goes up to Edmonton, and then from Edmonton down to DeWitt, Iowa. So we're all sort of wandering around the same region here right now, me and my dad, my father-in-law. Uh, getting things done. What was I going to do? That's right, 300 kilometers. 300 divided by 1.61. I have 186 miles to go to Meadow Lake where I'm loading. And we're going to throw some lumber on there. I just talked to dispatch, or the load gods. I am going to take it straight through. Just wanted to confirm. We're not going to get back into the U.S. today yet. I just won't have the hours to get there. So we'll get as close as we can. Maybe we'll go to Weyburn again. If we can get a parking spot at that truck stop where there used to be like 100 spots. Now there's like 15. Weyburn! We need another truck stop from you. All right? I know it's a big ask, but we need you to build us another truck stop. We need at least another 75 parking spots. That's a very popular town for all freight coming from Western Canada going down to the Midwest or Eastern United States. All that freight either crosses Emerson, Manitoba or crosses North Portal, Saskatchewan. Very often it goes through North Portal. Lots of trucks going down that highway and Weyburn is right on that highway. It's about an hour or two from the border. Lots of truck traffic. So if you're a businessman or a businesswoman and you want to make some money, you want to know where the truckers are, where they need a new truck stop, Weyburn, Saskatchewan. Estevan already has a nice petrol pass there. It's very nice. Weyburn needs one. Those of you out there with a little bit more deeper pockets, with deeper pockets than me. You want to make some money? Weyburn, new truck stop. But I want a portrait of me hung in the truck stop because it was my idea. Somewhere very prominent where everyone can see. <laughs> I know get some Timmy's here anyway and we're going to keep going. Serious about that portrait, though. There comes my father-in-law, Fritz's dad, going the other way. Hello, hello, Gary. How's it going? How are you doing, Josh?
Off to Minneapolis. I would have liked to have put this last one on the top there, up there. But I think I would have been overweight on my drives then. So this is the best I can get it to balance out the weights. Time to go. that spot because I felt someone could come around the corner make a sharp left around that corner and drag their trailer over my truck I didn't like that so I made a new row I'm the only one in the back there's no one else everybody else is up there in that row and this guy is right here This is the corner of the lot here. So I didn't want to go in behind him, right? Because I don't want to get blocked in. And he was here first, so didn't want to park there. So I made my own spot right here. Safe. Trucker Josh, marked safe from all the crazy drivers out there who got their driver's license in a cereal box and don't know how much room they need for their trailer. Mark safe from getting woken up in the middle of the night and having to make an insurance claim and put my truck out of commission for who knows how long waiting for parts. I wonder if this will fill up. It gets a little soft over there and someone dropped their trailer. Can you see it? I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but someone, sorry, it's not focusing. Someone dropped their trailer this way. So now you can't use that for parking. Uh, whatever. Nice. 
Whatever. How's old blue looking, guys? Looking all right. I'm pretty happy with this load. I had to slide my fifth wheel forward again. I wasn't overweight, but well, not overall. But I was 500 pounds over on my drives for the U.S., so I had to move this fifth wheel. The fifth wheel is what the trailer connects to on my truck frame. That's called a fifth wheel. You can slide it on some trucks. On mine, you can. It locks in with an air piston. But uh, I can unlock it. What you got to do is I can, I can show you sometime. You got to roll down your landing gear and then drop your airbags to release the pressure of the load off your frame and unlock your fifth wheel. And then you can slide it back and forth. I had to slide mine forward a bit and then move that 500 pounds onto those steer axles. See now that's where the fifth wheel is. It was back there. Just sliding it up like that, I moved about, I probably moved about 800 pounds off of these drives here, up the frame. Look at my steers up there. So now I'm perfectly legal to drive into the US tomorrow. So Got to do a little bit of cleanup back there, organize everything a little bit more, and head to bed. <clears throat> we'll continue this tomorrow. We're in Davidson, Saskatchewan. It's been a great day, a long day. We've got a full day of driving in 1,061 kilometers, 620 some miles. Tomorrow will be another full day. We're not quite going to get to our destination yet in Lakeville, Minnesota, which is south of Minneapolis. We'll get about four hours away, so maybe we'll get to around Alexandria, Minnesota. Somewhere around there, maybe Clearwater, man, and Fargo. Maybe Fargo. Somewhere between Fargo, North Dakota, or Moorhead, Minnesota, same city, and Alexandria, Minnesota. That's where I'm expecting to make it to tomorrow. We'll sleep there. We'll do the rest of the day, or the rest of the trip the next day, deliver, and then I'm most likely... I'm just gonna fire myself back home after that for Mother's Day. Thanks everybody for joining me today. Please don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Leave me a thumbs up if you like the video and I'll see you tomorrow.